I realized all of a sudden that windsurfing was something that was catching me so much. And uh, 10 years after that, I had a brain stroke. So the first concern I had was not to be able to windsurf anymore. But that luckily didn't happen, you know, because I was paralyzed. And uh, you see, I'm here, so. I learned how to play music before windsurfing. I play better than what I, <laughs> how I windsurf, you know. But this is part of my life. I, mean, I was windsurfing probably a total of 10, 15 days a year, but I was dreaming about those days every single moment during the winter, you know. And uh, since I didn't have much money back then, I, I couldn't, couldn't afford buying new boards when I wanted, so I was building boards my own. Every summer was a special summer. I have incredible, incredible memories of those periods, you know. And a very good friend of mine that was living in Hawaii said, this is the new thing. You've always been dreaming about going fast. So now it's time for you, if you want, to go. The trip itself made me grow up. The experience it's, itself made me grow up a lot. Because when you have to deal with the trip, okay, but when you have to deal with the new canal, which is so narrow, and it was much narrower than now in, in, the, in 2012, you have to deal with your own fears and with your own skills, those you have. The first year, I think I was going for two, three runs a day because I was petrified by fear. Nevertheless, I did probably 44.5 knots, something like that, over 500, that was something like a big dream. In my case, we are all different, you know? So in my case, and I was trying to transfer it to some friends, I've seen top riders fearing the canal like hell. I've seen normal people going straight down the canal with no fear. So it doesn't, it's not related to the skills you have, it's related to your fears in your mind. We all, I think, have fears. And I told you that one of the most important things coming here for me was to fight those fears in the right way. The right way for me was actually quietness. Because quietness keeps me and probably some other people away from stupid things. I don't want to fall if you're going that fast on, in, in a canal. You don't want to risk your body, I wouldn't say your life, but your body at least, a piece of your body to be broken because you were not thinking, you know. And we've seen friends hurting themselves because they were in a rush. You're not supposed to be in a rush in a place like this. Part of the reasons of why I'm here is because I want to be in this situation. The other part is because I want to go faster. Faster means you have a goal, yes. You want a number, I would say 48, 48 and a half. I think it's truly in my range. I can do it. If I do it, it will be one day in which everything is perfect. You know, for me, not for everybody, but for me, it has to be in line. But hopefully, it will happen. I, I'm here for that. Times that I cry, keeping all the pain that you inside.